Okay, this is a pool warden and mini warden flow cell. Some things to consider is one, uh, before you put this filter on, make sure that you have the flow cell magnet, which is right there. Make sure it's in this chamber before you thread this on and attach the uh, flow cell to the backboard. Also, there's our, our flow switch. You'll see there's like a little black mark up here. This typically needs to be somewhere near the top for it to work properly. And there's our, it's actually our gold tipped or P probe and a pH probe. And then in the middle here is the temperature sensor. Uh, I always take the little caps, the, the little bulb guard caps off, put them in the box, and then just use Teflon tape. These, uh, these O-rings are only for the, the cap, the storage cap, so just leave them on there. Don't worry about them having to be tied up against here or you'll break it. But just some good uh, Teflon tape and put them in firmly and, and you'll be good. Another thing you'll actually see here, there's, there's some debris in this screen. Make sure that's cleaned out because uh, once it gets plugged up, you'll lose your flow. Also, it's good to um, to regulate the flow through there on the back side. So we can just um, turn this down. Actually, turn it down until the magnet goes down and then turn it back up until it's up. The reason for that is that we don't need a lot of water flowing through here and the faster the water flows, the uh, shorter the lifespan is on the probe itself. Plus, if you're using a true DPD, it's good to create a little back pressure here so that we know that water is being forced to the uh, little peristaltic pumps in, in the true DPD box. And this right here is for you to get a sample of, of your water to do a manual test.